During this training module, we'll be showing you the difference between the red, green, and blue box. Now, with the red box, as it specifically states, you do not want to attack these areas or this category at all. For the green box, if you check those, you want to attack these categories separately, which means if you have a lot of inquiries, you would check here and letters will be formulated specifically with inquiries on there. If you have charge offs, you'll click this box, which means charge offs will be listed only on these letters. If you have derogatory, you will click the box. Any delinquents, you will click the box if you have student loans. So anything that you want to be attacked separately, you will click in the green box. With that green box being checked, you will need to um, calculate and click in this box how many letters will be generated based off of you clicking in that green box. So already when the blue box is clicked, you're already getting three letters generated with these specific categories. So personal identifier, all this information is going to be on one letter sent to Experian, one letter sent to Equifax, and one letter sent to um, TransUnion. Now that we ch check the green boxes, we're gonna have specific letters generated for um, those c categories sent to those three different bureaus as well. So for example, since we checked the green box for inquiries, it will be three letters generated for inquiries that will go to TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. There will be three letters that will be formulated for charge-offs and collections that will go to TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Because this box has been checked for derogatory, there will be specific letters generated for derogatory items that are on the report. And those letters will be for TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And the delinquents as well will be generated letters for TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Now, because we have clicked these three or these four separate green boxes, we have to again also add three more letters to be updated here in this box. So already we're starting off with three letters here. Then because we checked this green box, that's another set of three letters, so that's six. Another set, that's nine. Another set, 12, 15. And you keep calculating adding three um, and you will change this number here in this box. This is basically the maximum a number of um, credit reporting agency attack letters that you want to be formulated. And you must change this number so that the right amount of number of letters can be formulated on based off of what you need by clicking the separate boxes in the green, okay? So like we share, this is three, six, nine, 12, 15 letters, correct? So we're going to go ahead and click the 15. The other boxes, the only time that we need to change this information is in the event that the maximum number of items attacked, you want to only have a specific number of items attacked on that those letters. So you would put, if you want, you know, the letters to only have one item on there, three items, five items, you can pick it or leave it as is and it will put the amount of um, items on the report. I mean, excuse me, on the uh, letters based off of just, you know, it just being a def defaulted. Again, for the maximum number of um, attack letters, how many letters you want to be generated. Um, you would, you know, if you want specific numbers to be generated for those letters, you can pick that as well. And again, for the data furniture attack letters, if you only, you know, if you pick data furniture attack letters, then again, you will pick, if you need to, how many letters you want to be formulated for that specific area as well. Now that you have picked or select the categories that you either want to be, um, you either want to be attacked separately or not at all or all together, then you can click next.